What's up guys? Today I have another grimoire with me type of video and we're going to be doing my Beltane page and I'm using a lot of stickers from Dream Seeker, the alphabet from the fall sticker book and then I'm also using colorful boxes, um, one of these first sticker books that they came out with and also the dates and holidays. Um, sticker book. So this is sort of my happy grimoire that I have here. Um, and I have a bunch of different pages for the different celebrations of the Wheel of the Year. The last one I did was in bulk. I did not do one for Ostara, but we're doing one for Beltane today. So I am just going to use a lined Happy Notes page and get started placing some stickers. So Beltane is really it's celebrated usually like on April 30th and April, and then May 1st, so it's like May Day, but it's also just a celebration of really getting into the spring season. So the weather's getting warmer, there are flowers blooming, you start feeling, you know, like you want to wear flowers in your hair and, you know, get your kind of summer warm weather vibes going. So that's what Beltane is about. And I'm using the, um, the letters from the fall sticker book because they sort of they fit better with the overall aesthetic of this page beltane is a fire festival it's a fertility festival it's a creation festival it's you know all about um just celebrating the warmth the sun the creation the growth everything like that and these warmer letters that are in the fall book really inspired me for this spread as well as everything in the dream seeker book. Now I'm just looking in the fall book to see if there's anything I can use or, you know, add to the page that may have to do with maybe like bonfires or something. I don't end up finding anything because all of the yellow colors and orange colored boxes and stuff all say fall things on it. So I'm going back into this Dream Seeker book and I am looking at all of the clear stickers. Right now I'm focusing on these clusters of uh, blooming flowers and feathers and just decorating the outer edges of the page using this book. Um, I was really, really, I will leave a link to the image I found on Pinterest that really inspired this um, this page when I was looking up things to put in my sort of happy grimoire um, about Beltane. And I will also leave a link, um, or not a link, an image at the end of this video of how this looks all filled out. And you can also check it out on Instagram most likely. Um, but like I said, Beltane is normally like quote unquote celebrated on the 1st of May, but you can definitely just embrace the, you know, the middle of spring. So Beltane falls between Ostara, which is the spring equinox and uh, Litha, which is the summer solstice. So we are midway through spring, just like Imbolc is midway through winter between Yule and Ostara. So Beltane is midway through spring. So we should be seeing, you know, things blooming, flowers coming back, the weather's getting warmer, hopefully we are not having any more snow, um, you know, trees are getting their leaves back, the sky is blue and clear, we may be having a little bit more or coming out of maybe a rainy season where, um, you know, we're I don't know, nurturing the earth or whatnot to get our flowers and stuff to grow. And if you want to use this as sort of a goal setting time, um, I kind of see spring, maybe in bulk as the time to sort of think about your goals because we're coming out of spring or coming out of winter, you know, coming out of hibernation. What do you want to plant? Then maybe Ostara is you're actually setting those intentions or you're thinking about your goals. Beltane is you're starting to take action on your goals. Um, you know, summer is maybe you're reevaluating. You're maybe seeing, or Litha rather, you're maybe seeing, you know, what's working, what maybe you need to change. Then I think it's Lunasa if I'm pronouncing that right, is uh, a harvest, uh, one of the first harvest um, celebrations. So we can start to see what we are, we have been, I guess we're reaping what we've been sowing since spring. And then you have Mabin, which is what I kind of, um, I guess, correspond with like the full moon. So we should be, you know, our, our goals and stuff have come to realization. And then as we go off and the, the weather and the, the, the earth, the, 
I guess, atmosphere gets darker. We go into Samhain, we go into Yule, you know, we're kind of going into hibernation. We're kind of thinking about, you know, reflecting on what we have uh, learned and, and tried to grow and whatever and prepping for the next cycle. So it's all a cyclical thing. Um, so that's what I try to do when I am making these pages or just thinking about moving through uh, the seasons with sort of um, a mindfulness uh, when it comes to that. So I'm just laying down a bunch of different boxes so I can put different things in those boxes. Maybe I'll have essential oils that are, or herbs that I can use or uh, spell work that you can do or correspondences. What are the symbols of this season, of this time? How can I decorate maybe an altar? How can I maybe do a craft or something or, or make something um, maybe with my family? What can I cook? How can I celebrate? Um, usually what I do when it comes to sort of celebrating these, um, these things on the wheel of the year is I cook something. So, um, you know, you can figure out what correspondences can go with Beltane. Maybe you want to make something with like strawberries or, um, I don't know, things that you think really speak to warmer weather you want to go on a picnic you know anything that speaks to you on I guess a level of you know your where you're at you don't have to do these like giant elaborate celebrations I used to think I had to do like it had to be so elaborate I had to come up with stuff but there are things that we do naturally through our lives that we can um, associate with the season that we're in, etc. When I was younger, we used to go um, strawberry picking. I don't honestly remember when that was, but I feel like it might have been May or June that we would do that. You know, so we are in the season of spring moving into summer. Um, we already put lights on Christmas trees or on our evergreen trees or whatever. And Yule is all about welcoming the light back to the earth. Um, uh, you know, at Imbolc, sheep are being born, livestock are being born. We're working through the last technically, I guess, stores of our, you know, what we have um, saved for winter so we can celebrate that we've made it halfway to winter and we still have you know maybe what we have saved up um I try to especially in bulk I try to cook uh lamb from Zach's parents house so this year we made uh, shepherd's pie I'm not quite sure what we're going to do for Beltane maybe we'll make uh like a cake using strawberries or something sweet um you know, I just, I use, I get a lot of my ideas from Pinterest, from different Facebook groups that I'm in, um, just different resources I pull from. And then that's what I use this page for. I'll say, these are the crystals you can use. These are the things you should be thinking about. This is how you can maybe bring the spirit of the season into, I don't know, your daily life. And that's what I use these pages for. I just outline things that I want to remember. It's kind of like a reference page. And then for Impulk, on the last on the back of the page, and I, I plan to do that with this page as well, I sort of write a little reflection about what the season is, maybe what it means, what this, what this celebration or Sabbath means, um, what I plan to do, what we plan to do as a family, what we can do as a family. Um, and, you know, maybe any spell work or anything that I, that I want to do. I know, I know I'm talking about in book a lot here because I haven't really sat down yet and decided what I'm going to put in to this Beltane, pa Beltane page, but, um, I wrote down like a cleansing little ritual that I did where I washed down the front door with, um, some leftover snow, um, peppermint, I think it was rosemary and lavender, um, because all of those essential oils had different correspondences. So now I'm going back into the Dream Seeker sticker book and kind of decorating the edges of these boxes. I, I start working with the flowers and the florals that are there and then I move into using some of the feathers. Um, this book is so pretty. I love, I had, this is the first time that I've actually used this book besides just looking at it and admiring it and thinking it's beautiful. Um, honestly, I don't think I've used this book in a spread at all. And I am, 
I already decorated uh, Beltane in my planner with a really old sticker book. I do not have a plan with me on that, but I already decorated um, that week. So maybe the next week I'll use this, uh, this sticker book to uh, decorate. Because again, it doesn't have to be you know exactly on that day. You can celebrate it as a season. Um, and I'll leave links, maybe I'll leave a link to maybe, um, some things on Pinterest that I have found, uh, for Beltane that I will fill out in this, in this guy. Um, but yeah, so I'm just creating a space for me to just journal and maybe I'll have, eventually I do put down a sticker that I think it says like mantra or something. So maybe it's something I want to remember during this season. Um, but these pages are just to be reference pages for me to go back to next Beltane, you know, and the thing I love about uh, the happy planner is that I can add in pages. Let's say I want to journal something else next year. I'll just add in a page behind it or in front of it or whatever. So this is how my page turns out. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would love for you to stick around. Uh, I have a couple more grimoire type with me videos um, that I have already done and more that I plan to do. Um, yeah, I hope this inspired you maybe to use your stickers to make some creative pages in your planner. And uh, stay tuned because in a second here, you're going to see uh, the finished image. So like I said, hope you guys like this video and I will talk to you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.